My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. In my household, there's me, my husband, and our adorable two-year-old little boy. On our channel, you'll find simple and tasty dinners using everyday ingredients. So as a side for our dinner tonight, I am making shortcut macaroni and cheese. I used to make this all the time and I haven't made it in a while. Um, so the only thing that I've done so far is add some sour cream to this um, pasta that I boiled. It's just a you know deluxe macaroni and cheese. So I added some sour cream, a half a cup of sour cream. Now I'm going to add the package of the cheese sauce. Gonna give this a good stir, and then I'm gonna add in about a cup of shredded cheddar cheese. And this is cheddar cheese that I have shredded myself, so it's not the pre-shredded kind. And here goes my cup of cheese. Measure with your heart, put, it, put whatever you want in there. And if I didn't mention, my macaroni is cooked al dente because it's going to go in the oven and it's going to continue to cook. So I've got an eight inch casserole here and I have greased it. Don't worry, that burner is off. It's cool now. I'm just pouring in my macaroni and cheese. And I'm just gonna top it with some additional cheese. Again, put however much you want to put on your mac and cheese. And then I'm just gonna bake this for about half an hour or until that cheese is all nice and bubbly. Okay, so dinner is finished. So here is the macaroni and cheese. I also made some collard greens with smoked ham hocks. I am going to record a video on how I made them. And then we've also got some baked chicken legs. And I use this Lowry's chicken and poultry seasoning rub and this um, poultry herb blend on the chicken. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. For dinner tonight, we are having stuffed mushrooms from H-E-B. They're Italian stuffed mushrooms stuffed with cheese and Italian sausage. Um, I picked them up on a recent haul, which should be out shortly, so be on the lookout for that. Serving the mushrooms over some white rice and a side salad. The stuffed mushrooms are part of the meal simple um, meals that they have, and they come in this tin foil pan and you just bake them in the oven. And then for the salad, we are just going to be topping it with some Italian dressing. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. So for dinner tonight, we are eating from our freezer. I'm trying to clear my freezer out. I had um, this family style meat lasagna from Trader Joe's. We had it a long time ago and we both really liked it a lot. It is so good, way better than Stouffer's. It is frozen. Trader Joe's does have one in the refrigerated section. I've not tried that one, um, but like I said, this one is really good. There are four servings in here, and I'm also serving it with some butter croissants from um, Great Value. Normally I get my croissants from Trader Joe's as well, um, and these taste very similar to the ones from Trader Joe's. I do let mine proof, I've mentioned that before, um, and to me they just turn out lighter and fluffier. So here is our dinner plate, you got the croissant, and there is the meat lasagna, and then we are just having a salad on the side. I'm gonna use some of this Olive Garden salad dressing. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time. So I'm trying out a new recipe for dinner tonight. It is an Alfredo tortellini bake. Of course, I'll leave the recipe in the description um, box, but in my skillet, I have some butter and some garlic, and I just added in um, four ounces of softened cream cheese, and I'm gonna let this melt down a little bit. In the pot right next to this skillet, I have um, two packages of this three cheese tortellini boiling away. I got it from Aldi. So I'm just gonna let this kind of melt down and then I'll come back. Just adding in some heavy whipping cream. So now I'm gonna add in about a half a cup of Parmesan cheese. And then I'm gonna use a little salt and pepper. Give it a good stir. 
and I'm gonna remove this from the heat. So I've drained my tortellini and I've added it to the pan with the sauce. I'm just gonna stir it up, get it all combined. I'm gonna pour it in a pan because uh, I'm gonna bake it. I'm gonna use an um, 11 by seven pan. The recipe calls for a nine by 13, but I really don't think I need a pan that big. So I'm gonna finish stirring that up, put it in the pan. I'm going to add some additional Parmesan cheese to it, and then also some Italian style blended shredded cheese. The recipe calls for mozzarella, but I have the Italian cheese, so that's what I'm gonna use. So I'll be back. So here is our dinner. The tortellini is very, very good. I mean, how can you go wrong with all that cheese? Mm -mm -mm. It's very tasty. And we're ending up having a very starchy dinner tonight. That was not the plan. I was gonna make a green vegetable, but then I remembered I had this fresh corn on the cob in the fridge that I needed to make. So that has some butter on it. And then we're just finishing up those um, croissants from the other day. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time. So for dinner tonight, we are having this Tex-Mex queso with brisket from H-E-B. It is so good. Um, I got this probably like, I don't know, for the first time maybe a month ago, and Howard and I really liked it. It is absolutely delicious. Comes in a little tin tray, and you add milk or beer to it. I am going to be adding milk to it. And then you just heat it up in the oven at 400 degrees and it is amazing. Serving it with some tortilla chips also from H-E-B. This is what the bag looks like. We got the unsalted variety and I am just going to be warming the chips up in the oven along with that queso dip. Makes them nice and crispy and warm. I do that with my, that is Harrison. I do that with my tortilla chips and also with my taco shells and stuff. But anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. So I closed out the last video and totally forgot to show you all what it looks like when it comes out of the oven. This is it, it is so good. And then here are my nice hot tortilla chips. So I will see you all next time.